Hey folks, welcome back. Uh, we finally picked a new game and uh, I've gotten to a point that we can uh, do this somewhat reliably. So, without ado, let's step into Paper Sorcerer. You awaken with a start, reflectively, reflexively trying to cast a spell that dies in your throat when you see your surroundings. The last thing you remember was fighting for the king's lapdogs. Bannon the warrior. Uh, research, research the ranger. Akimi the mage. And Yawan, Yaran the priest. They had a book that glowed with a fearsome light. You aren't the type to be easily scared, but as you looked in that light, you felt truly terrified like you never have before. But you have all your arms, legs, and fingers and senses intact, so things could always be worse. Uh, in order to make sure you're intact, confirm you are a... First thing you should do is find out where you are. WASD to move, look with the mouse, click on things to interact. Fair enough. Even though you're only conscious for a short amount of time, you feel extremely tired. Do you want to rest for a bit? Uh, not yet. You bravely soldier on despite the fatigue. To advance dialogue, or click, click next or hit the game. Uh, in upper right corner, search will occasionally appear. Press space bar to search an area. This gives you additional details and sometimes reveals secrets. Ooh, what's up? You feel a subtle force in this room. It's making it difficult to concentrate and your head feels all fuzzy. Slowly you feel your magic seeping away, along with your will to stand, escape, or do anything that doesn't involve lying down. Whatever kind of magic this is is truly insidious. You feel yourself nodding off already. You should probably lie down before you hurt yourself. Nope. Bars are cold to the touch no matter how much you push and pull, they refuse to move a fraction of an inch. In fact, now you can give you the courtesy of making a rattling sound. It's this thought that makes you realize that the room is rather silent. There's little ambient noise and no sound of people chatting. Just eerie silence. Alright, I guess it's nap time then. Even though you've only been conscious for a long for a short time, you feel extremely tired. You rest for a bit, yes. It doesn't take long before you feel yourself slipping into a deep sleep. Right before you begin to slumber, however, you have the distinct impression you're being watched. You have a dream where you're <clears throat> where you're talking with some friends you had when you were younger, but the room you're talking in is unfamiliar, with plain stone walls and a table with several bags on it. When you open the bag in the center, a snake jumps out and slithers out of the room. When you awaken, there's a mouse sitting on the end of your bed, just staring at you. You're an interesting one. A sorcerer. 
That's some dark magic. Binding souls and calling them when needed. That can be a dangerous power. Dangerous but useful. Uh, what do you want? Well, I've been waiting for someone like you. I'd like to escape and I think you can help me. Right now you've been sealed inside a prison of sorts. The king has been trapping threats to the kingdom here for decades. I think I know a way to escape, but I can't do it alone, and a sorcerer like you is just what I need. If you'd be willing to help me, I would ensure we both get out. Alright, I'll help. Excellent. First thing you should do is you need to do is get out of this cell block. Suddenly a burst of intense magic energy fills the room. The oppressive force draining your magic is gone, as is the mouse. You hear a whispery voice in your mind. I will find you again soon. Aha! Now, here's where it gets interesting. There is an entire list of summons. Choose wisely as they will function as your party for the rest of your adventure. You eventually can summon everything, but you need to make sure you can get out of here type of thing. So let's grab the werewolf first. Werewolf, also known as the Scourge, fast and brutal warrior who fights without weapons and lightly armored. Using savage hand-to-hand -hand strikes to take down his foes and beneficial house to bolster the party, the werewolf is a balanced character that can fit well in any party composition. Example skills, Hurricane Claw, physical attack, hits all enemies, low cooldown time, generates energy, has a chance to miss, Blood Moon How, temporarily raises party's strength, costs one energy. Can equip light armor and two accessories. Yes. Werewolf has been summoned, use him well. So. Oh, as you pass through the doorway, you see a single guard barreling down the hallway toward you. Hey, you. How'd you get out of your cell? What do you do? Oh, we're gonna kill some guards. It's just one lone guard, you think to yourself. How tough can he be? Combat's turn-based. Select the option you want. Blah, blah, blah. Energy is used to perform skills. Regenerates one per round. Energy not used in combat. Can be used outside of combat. Have battle for healing spells and the like. To do this, go to the skill section. Small dice next to each skill shows how many turns that skill takes to recharge. For example, a three takes a. The three means that skill takes three turns to recharge. See these messages again. Go to the info section. Okay. Bone claw. Veritable armory. We find all manner of random junk. But it's basic gear. So, dude. Wrong button. Inventory? There we go. some rags. Bed in this room is unusually small. Open it. 
and it reveals nothing except for the scent of freshly cut grass. It's quite pleasant. The bed's been so tightly made you could bounce a button off it. Underneath you find a small dusty box. Inside is a small wooden owl carved to resemble a rotund female goblin. Uh, no. No, we're good. We'll leave that alone. Inside the cabinet is a book titled The Peaceful Path. Learning to put banditry behind you. Do you want to take it? Yes. You decide to steal the book about learning not to steal. Ooh, one plain key. One mop. Very good. And one broom. Fair enough. Small chest is locked. The item. Thank you. Satisfying click. Four restoration crystals. Uh, restoration crystals are very important in hard 1980s difficulty. Aside from a few high level skills, restoration crystals are the only way to revive dead characters. Uh, they restore HP as well as resurrect the dead, so you should make sure to always have a cup on hand. That's valid. Pair of guards stand around murmuring as soon, as soon as they enter they turn to face you. The shock look on their face is absolutely priceless, however they quickly regain their composure and rush into attack. Other than HP and energy, one thing to remember is the thing you need to keep track of in combat is your defense. Defense is subtracted from any damage inflicted. For example, if a guard hits you for 10 damage, you have 4 defense, 10 minus 4 equals 6 points from HP. It goes down with each hit, but is restored after battle. If an attack causes zero, zero damage, it's because the def target's defense is higher than the damage caused. It can increase through armor and certain skills. More information on skills and blah blah blah. Info section. And we fight. Black Bolt and... Bone Claw. An iron mace and a leather helmet. Ten gems. Alright, so we should probably... Wrong button. Tori. Let's put that helmet on him. Okay. Let's go to it. Would you like to go to the next level? Yes. You've cleared block one, level one. Woohoo! Feel some of your power returning, you can summon one of your former thralls to aid your escape. Choose wisely, they will function as your party for the rest of the adventure. Uh. Let's go for the tank. Skeleton, stalwart, stalwart warrior. Keeps the focus of the enemy through challenges while using defensive skills to keep himself and the party alive. Thanks to heavy armor and sort of defensive skills, the skeleton excels in protecting the more fragile members of the party. Example skills. Challenge causes the enemy to focus their attacks and reform. Passively regenerate HP. Can equip longswords to me or excuse me. Longswords light, medium, and heavy armor, one shield and an accessory. Yes. He's been summoned, use him well. Don't forget to equip him. The junky longsword. Some rags. And back to slime. 
you come across a hunched over old goblin sweeping the hallway. As you approach, he turns around and his eyes slowly widen until the size of saucers. He looks around to make sure no one is around and quickly hobbles up to you. <clears throat> what are you doing here? How'd you get out of your cell? A very strange mouse helped me. He squints at you. A mouse? He thinks for a moment before suddenly laying out a gasp. The spirit of the book. The who of the what now? After a furtive glance over his shoulder, he leans in closer. Right now you're in a magic artifact of great power. The Librum Claustrum. A book that isn't really a book. More like its own extra-dimensional space. It's used by heroes under the order of the king to imprison evil and maintain peace in the realm. Evils such as you and I. When someone or something is put here, they're supposed to go into a deep sleep for all eternity. Dreaming the dreams of madmen. But, as we know, this isn't always the case. Sometimes the spells designed to sap our power don't work. Other times the spirit of the book has been known to interfere. Either way, the result's usually the same. An enemy escapes and the guards hunt them down. They relish the excitement. Uh, what do you do here? I mostly just clean up after the guards. They let me stay out because I repent my evil ways and I make laundry smell like freshly cut grass. But believe me, if I if I could, I would burn this whole place to the ground. Huh? What's ex what exactly is the spirit of the book? I don't know. No one does. I think she's an in an inmate who escaped like you. Uh, okay. What are these gems everyone's carrying around? Ah, those gems have a very special property. If you look into one and concentrate, you can briefly see the outside world through someone else's eyes. For the people in here, it offers a brief but intoxicating bit of escapism. Most people here use them actually... <coughs> excuse me. Most people here actually use them as currency. After you've been in here for so long, you'll be... Being able to see the real world, even briefly, is more valuable than any sword or diamond. After hearing the explanation, you feel kind of curious. Do you look into a gem? Sure. You look into a gem and concentrate. You feel yourself slowly being drawn in until everything goes dark. There's a flash of light and suddenly you're standing at a bathroom sink. You look into the mirror and see a middle-aged man staring back at you. Placing a hand on your rather round gut, you let out a deep sigh. I used to be so skinny, you think to yourself in a voice you've never heard before. Suddenly there's another flash of light and you're back in the Librum with the goblin. He gives you a knowing look and nods. The gem in your hand has crumbled to dust. Okay. Oh. Is there anything I can do to avoid the guards? Heh, you're lucky at me. you met me. It so happens I know. He turns around abruptly to the sound of two men talking in the room down the hall. There isn't much time. He hands you a red feather. There's a safe place where others like you are hiding. If you continue through the cell block, you'll eventually come across a dark pit. Jump into it. The feather will ensure you wind up at the sanctuary. Good luck. Oh, watch out for the knight. He's in charge of this block. Before you can ask any more questions, he turns around and hurries down the stairs behind you. Hmm. Okay. When you're, when you're exploring, you'll see enemies as floating clouds. You don't get to see what enemies are there, so be careful. Like this.
anytime this game says has a chance of missing, more than likely gonna miss. Uh, leather helmet, one basic rune, and three coins. Oh, level two. Gained a level in focus. Uh, allows you to up your magic and generate, regenerate some energy. Eighteen gems. One jar of dead ants. Forty-four gems. Lesser healing potion. Another mob. Let's see. Inventory. He can go ahead. He's going to be our big bad tanky, so he can have that. As well as that. So you can you can kind of skirt around enemies. They generally won't help you. Because they will move and come after you. Jeez. Tank hits like a truck. So this, is, this feels very much like uh, wizardry in that kind of vein. Ooh, another leather helmet, nice. Werewolf level three, Swift Moon Howl increases agility of party for three turns. Finding the old random gear. I need some more defense. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, opal bracelet. Nice. Scrap of leather. Tackle. If I decide you find a crumpled paper that reads, from now on keep your stuff on the side of the, on the, side of the room. 92 gems. And a J. I do really like the aesthetic in this game, though. Uh, yes. Clear block one, level two. Before wondering any further, we should probably go in here, do this. There we go. Okay. Need to find a shield. Since power your power returning, you can summon another of your former thralls. The powerful berserker. Minotaur's most among the most damaging characters available, thanks to powerful axes and fastest strength growth. Additionally, you can only wear light armor and boast some of the highest HP growth as well. Wild swing hits all enemies. And rendering strike, severe damage to defense. Can equip light. Axes, light armor, one accessory. Yep. He's been summoned. Don't forget to equip him. Doot. The shameful iron axe. Some rags. Right. One broom. It's all treasure. It's all that matters. Now let's go try out this Minotaur. Against a dwarf. Brutal strike. Hey, 
8 points, not bad. Gems. Minotaur is level 3. Hits all your foes. Level 1. And of course, we take all of his stuff. 27 gems, 61 gems. Inside the box is what appears to be a journal of some kind. It's barely been used. Most of the writing is about lack of discipline among the guards. Of course, a lot of the lads in here don't know what they're doing. Sons of farmers and gutter rats promise a life with purpose. They're just too young to understand what being here forever really means. The final page looks like it's gotten wet. The ink is blurry and hard to read, but you can make sense of some of it. Was the only one who understood me, and now he's dead. Kenriak didn't deserve that. I'm sure that stinking goblin knows something. Next time the others aren't around, I'll make him talk. Hmm. Ooh, a brass snuff box. Ball of light. Glowing ball of light hovers before you. Ooh, you're a new one. Just what are you up to? I think I'll follow you a bit for a bit and find out. Those become kind of story important. Inside the sack is a dead rat. You decide to leave him in relative peace. There's a monster. And there's a monster. Alright. Ooh, okay, big group. Let's, uh, oh. hmm. Guess the Minotaur is going to attack normally. Everybody's just going to attack normally. This guy, can we? Hits all enemies, there we go. And skip. Yeah, we'll, we'll do another black bolt. Ooh, he's a beast. Basic tough runes, an iron mace, and three wooden coins. Nice. Frostfall. Freezes target, reducing agility. Defender raises defense temporarily. Nice. Oh, took out both groups. Let's loot. Silver snuff box. One sash. One button. Scrap of leather. One lesser healing potion. One sharpened iron dagger. 94 gems. An iron dagger. Another iron dagger. Very went that way. Let's go check out this. And we'll get through this cell block. Normally I try to go for half hour episodes, roughly, but uh, we're going to run just a little long because this is going to get us to town and this is the final area of this cell block. Plus it, there's only one combat here. And there it is. 
Standing at the side of the platform with grim solemnity is a well-armored knight. I know you're where you're trying to go, sorcerer, and you'll never make it. The fact you made it this far speaks to your skill. However, your insurrection ends here. He has to sort up and enters into an attack stance. Too bad I can't just, you know, shove him off the edge. Alright. So, let's... Let's get him. Uh... We're gonna go all out with everything. Uh, Bone Claw for the werewolf. Uh, skill... He's gonna do a brutal strike on the knight. Sorcerer is going to. Uh, we're gonna frostfall him, I think. So he doesn't bounce around. And. He's gonna do challenge. So, let's attack for a little bit. Uh, focus for the wizard. Skill. Let's do a little defensive strike. Uh, yeah, why not? it up his defense. Oh, well, everybody's defense. Give him one of these. And go. Guy's got a lot of hit points on him, but I guess he is the the knight. So don't even know what that skill does. Uh, I can't focus again, so I guess we'll attack. There's a lot of equipment I didn't even, didn't even put on my guys. Uh, there we go. I'm going to say we should be fine though. Victory! 550 experience, 35 gems. Werewolf is level 4. He now increases his chance of countering attacks and such. Power Strike, a strong melee attack, level 1. And Blood Rage, increases strength, level 1. Scale armor, 23 defense. And. But. Doom. As you fall, you start to feel lightheaded, and right before you black out, the strangest sensation comes over you. It feels like your body's getting pushed through a cheese grater, but not in a painful way. You have only a few seconds to ponder this before you completely lose conscious. 
As you come to, you're approached by a woman you've never met, but who seems familiar. Hey, I'm glad you finally made it. Based off your reputation, I thought that knight wouldn't even stand a chance, but he gave you quite a bit of a challenge. Uh, we've met before, haven't we? You're a perceptive one. That's going to come in handy. Some call me the spirit of the book, and this is the sanctuary. Safe place for all who seek to seek escape from the Librum Claustrum. Well, relatively safe. You don't get sealed in here for being nice. Anyway, let's get down to business. You see, even though this book we're in is our prison, it's still a book. Subject to all frailty and limitations of any book. Books are held together by bindings, and if the bindings are broken, obviously pleased with herself, she pauses with a self-satisfied air. The Librum is broken into blocks. Each block consists of three floors guarding the binding and the binding itself. You'll need to ascend through the Librum, breaking the bindings on every block. When the last one's broken, we may do as we please. Now, I'm going to teach you a powerful spell that will undo those binding. It's called the Chant of Unmaking. You quickly learn the spell, taking only a few hours. Hey, you're a quick learner. Before you go back, you should acquaint yourself with some of the locals here. Some of the heroes in the Librum could tear you apart as you are now, so you're going to need some help. Also, here, take this. She hands you a large palm-sized gem covered in spiraling, spiraling runes. That will enable you to return here whenever you want. Your next destination should be block two. I heard it smells awful, so be sure to take a bath when you get back. Good luck! Okay. So, we're just going to go to our room. And apparently we have stuff to loot on our own table. Cool. Defense potion. Tell my heroes. Restoration crystals. Handcuffs. Give up the battle. And more potions. So, folks, this is Paper Sorcerer. Um, it seems like a fun little one, so we will be playing through this. Uh, give me your thoughts. What do you think? Should I pick somebody else? Uh, till till next time though.